Hi, and welcome back to IWS Motor Coaches. In this video, we're going to take a step by step tour through the Renegade Explorer bunkhouse model of motor coach. No matter which floor plan you choose in the Explorer series, the construction is going to be very similar to what you see here. The difference would be in the length of the coach and then in the floor plans. We're going to take you through each of the boxes on the driver's side. This is where most of the mechanics are kept on the coach. It's on the non-curb side. Here we're looking into the battery compartment. On this coach, there's batteries on the left, which are Group 31 batteries, and these supply the truck chassis. The batteries that we're panning over now are Group 8D batteries, and these are optional batteries. At IWS, we tend to encourage you to put these in, even though they're close to $1,000 a piece, by going to the Group 8D batteries, you're able to invert all night long. Um, it's really a great option, especially you know on them cool evenings, you don't have to run a heater or anything. It's just really nice to have that extra inverted power. Now we're gonna go ahead and move to the next compartment back, and this is where the 2800 watt inverter is stored. What an inverter does is it takes 12 volt battery and it inverts it into 110 voltage. This is a very large inverter. Renegade's done a great job of putting the right sized equipment in the coach. You'll also notice there's a vent in the back to help get the heat out of this box because this inverter does generate some heat. This inverter also has the auto generator start function. So when your generator senses that the battery voltage is low, the generator's gonna go ahead and start automatically. Here's the next box back, which is just a storage compartment. Now we're gonna move into the uh, septic area. There's a lot of options that we can do in this compartment. One of the options is, is we can duct extra heat in here to help keep the tanks warm if you're gonna be in severe winter climates. We can also put electric heating strips underneath the tank that'll help keep things from freezing. Any of you that have RV'd before are familiar with the draining the septic and it can be a little bit of a fuss to do. You're using the large four inch black hose. This coach we've equipped with the macerator sewage system and what it does is there's a grinder in there that grinds up all the matter and then it pumps it through that blue hose. You can be at a campground, if they come by with a sewage caddy, you can actually pump that sewage uphill and up to 20 feet away. It's in a small inch and a half hose and I think it's just a feature that's worth every penny that you'll spend on it. Now we're going to move into the water management system. In this compartment, you're going to find all the levers that control the water in the coach. And the first thing I want you to notice is that there's a low point drain valve. What that is, is if you want to drain the coach when you're getting ready for winter, you can open up that valve and drain all the water out of the coach. There's another valve to the left of it that's also one that you can hook onto a hose so you could fill a dog bowl or you could get some extra water out of the coach right there. In behind the white cabinet is the spray away cabinet and inside of there there's a pressurized hose that you can use to wash out a cooler, spray off a kit or wash your car if you want to. Then you'll notice the switch for the flow jet and the flow jet is part of the macerator system that grinds the sewage up and pumps it out of the coach. And then you have your typical black tank dump valve and your gray water dump valve. There's also a black tank wash valve, which is really nice. When you hook a hose on there, it'll actually wash out your black tanks. Then there's a cable hookup. If you're in an RV park that offers cable, you can just run your cable hookup right into there, and it's pre-wired into the entertainment center on the coach. Now we're gonna move over to the generator, and we're gonna talk about it for a little bit. Standard on all coaches that have just two air conditioning units is the Cummins Onan Quiet Diesel 8000 Watt. This is a fantastic generator and power plant. It's going to run for thousands of hours. They're just virtually indestructible. They're just a great, great power source. It's very easy to check the oil on it, check the cooling. This coach is equipped with auto gen start functions, which we'll talk more when we get inside of the coach. It'll sense when the inside of the coach is too hot or too cold. It'll start the generator up to run the heater or the air conditioners. We do offer an optional 12.5 kW generator. That would be something you'd wanna use if you were running three air conditioning units or a really large trailer with lots of power to make. Next baggage compartment behind the generator, and in here you're going to notice we have a power cord reel, which is really nice. 
That 50 amp cord's pretty big and bulky. When you disconnect from city power, you just push the button and the cord winds up. You also notice in the upper right there, there's another outlet, and that's to run 30 amps of power to your trailer if you have a need for your trailer. Or if you have a buddy who has a coach and his generator goes out, you can go ahead and plug his coach in here and uh, give him power. And that concludes the tour of the driver's side storage compartments. Now we're going to go ahead and push the slide out on this coach and there's a few things I want to draw your attention to on this little section right here. Number one, I want you to notice the paint. The Renegade carries the paint all the way into the slide. Also notice the flush mounted thermal pane windows. They really add a lot of distinction and quality to the look of the coach. This slide also is equipped with an awning that comes in and out with the slide. It's really important to keep leaves and rain water and stuff from getting inside of your slide. Now we're going to move around to the back of the coach. So when we get around to the back, I think it really showcases the real functional part of Renegade. The first thing I want you to notice is that this coach is equipped with a 20,000 pound trailer hitch. Now as we pan up, I want to draw your attention to the lights. Renegade's done a good job of making these lights easy to be replaced. They're standard truck LED lights that can be replaced at any Napa Auto Parts Center that you would find along the road. Now as we move up to the top of the coach, you're going to get a peek at the LED lights up there and there's also a rear camera. Now this particular hitch on this coach at 20,000 pounds has a 2,000 pound tongue rating, 20,000 pound tow rating. When we upgrade you to the 30,000 pound hitch, you would get a 4,500 pound tow rating. Here you can see the electrical hookups for different trailer packages. And then there's also where the brass fittings are, we can install glad hands there for your air brake trailer. This coach on the inside does have an electric brake controller as well as an air operated brake controller. Now we're gonna go ahead and move over to the passenger side or the curb side of the motor coach and talk about it in detail. As I mentioned earlier, we've been equipping all of our coaches with swing out baggage doors. It makes it a lot easier to get in and out of them, to get stuff in and out of them. At IWS, we've been equipping most of our coaches with swing out baggage compartment doors. The other thing that we're doing on the curbside is we're equipping them with uh, remote control. So you have a key fob. If you want to unlock all of the curbside baggage compartment doors, you just push a button and they all unlock. Now we're going to go ahead and run the awning out for you so you can see it. This is a powered awning. You just push the remote control button and the awning will come out. It also has a wind sensor on it so if the wind picks up it'll automatically stow. Here we're going to talk about the outside entertainment center. I do want to point out that the door will fold all the way up. Here you can see the Sony sound system on it. It has a DVD player in it for the 32 inch LG TV. It has a remote control with it so you can operate it from away from the coach and it's game ready. Here we're going to open the door to the coach to show you how the electric step deploys on it before we move around to the front of the coach. Now I want to talk about the power plant in this coach. This coach is equipped with a Cummins ISL9. That's a 9 liter Cummins engine. It has 350 horsepower. It has a thousand foot-pounds of torque. I also want to point out that this particular engine has a two-stage engine brake. It's not a compression brake like you'd find on a smaller diesel engine, but it's an actual engine brake. It's not only designed to get you down the road, it's designed to stop. They're just a phenomenal, phenomenal chassis and they're built to work day in and day out. My name's Chuck Ciccarelli and I'd like to thank you for spending a little time with us today. Feel free to stop by anytime and just visit.